Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session we have here, the Monday, the 10th of September 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates for leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, markets today, we've got Asian markets down again, the swoon, given the uh, weakness in uh, US equities in late Friday, given the fact that Mr. Trump. Uh, referred to alluded to additional tariffs okay also his tweet regarding apple as well the potential components uh, being uh, bought in from the or made in the us as opposed to imported okay so again that's going to exert further pressure on tech given the fact that apple is under pressure now with apple under pressure that generally means us equities are under and under pressure given the fact that apple is uh, a large proportion of the actual index itself okay so just bear that in mind as well that certainly is another factor to uh, to consider there okay so um Asian markets lower, uh, the concerns in uh, the emerging markets certainly continue, although uh, Italian stocks certainly have uh, weathered the storm and certainly are higher today, e euro moving higher as well, okay, uh, Aussie dollar, uh, Kiwi dollar certainly under pressure and Asian equities down quite considerably, especially China, given the additional uh, obviously tariff threat there from uh, Mr. Uh, Moron Trump, okay, so uh, again, uh, move on to the technical picture. The other, only other fun fundamentals this morning from the uh, Asian markets really are uh, J Japanese GDP numbers coming in slightly better than expected. Uh, the uh, inflation numbers out of J China certainly coming in stronger than expected or much higher than expected, which again is a negative for the Chinese economy and uh, especially given the, obviously tariffs. And then we've got... Uh, UK um, GDP numbers coming in better, trade balance coming in better as well, slightly. Okay, so that certainly will support the argument there. So again, that certainly is something to consider now. Oh, so obviously, a lot of that is due to the rising or falling currency uh, to a large extent. So bear that in mind. Okay, uh, we see uh, the bargaining power for imports obviously becomes more expensive and less imports, and therefore more exports. Okay, and given the currency debauchery, so. That would have been what would have been expected, okay. Uh, Incentix investor confidence uh, comes in weaker than expected for Europe. So again, ongoing concerns there in terms of Europe. Uh, so take that into consideration too. Now, the surprise GDP numbers coming out better than expected in the UK is a bit of a surprise. That certainly is underpinning the actual uh, uh, index at present. That certainly had come out after the fact that I was uh, bearish, given the fact that we've got concerns with regards to uh, Miss Theresa May and Boris Johnson now. His comments regarding a potential suicide vest certainly haven't been taken uh, friendly, um, uh, certainly haven't been taken on board in, in a good manner. Uh, and again, has caused further division, further splits within the Tory party, which already is split, and therefore political uncertainty equals risk off. Uh, in terms of the German DAX, now let's have a look exactly what's happening with this index. Okay, now the weekly chart potential support now, given the fact that this has been flush recently, is seen at around the 11.830 zone, so watch out below. Uh, daily chart again holding or attempting to hold on to gap fill here okay next potential support is 11760 uh, the slide continues 60 minute chart there's no real support okay we're already in no man's land okay uh, from that perspective 10 minute chart at the moment we are pushing higher we have already pushed higher but again you've got horizontal support tested below which is on 1189 you know bear in mind asia markets were lower overnight and again that is causing the risk off factor as well so bear that in mind in terms of the uh, French CAC, let's see exactly what's going on here. A feeble bounce thus far. Uh, daily chart is in support, so bear that in mind. But having said that, we've got a gap fill at 5140 below as well. Okay, so watch out below in terms of the French CAC. 60 minute chart, again, really in no man's land. Um, the only real support is seen down here. Okay, and even that was breached to a large extent, so bear that in mind. Okay, uh, in terms of the French CAC, 10 minute chart. We are now coming into potential resistance for the French CAC, so bear that in mind too. FTSE 100 again, I mean there is support here, uh, but the pivot low so far has been 7230. The next potential support is 7190, then you've got 717070, and so 68600 zone obviously comes into play. Again, the political uncertainty certainly weighing on the index, bear that in mind. A US equity is certainly weaker as well, with Asian markets weaker. All that takes into could take that into consideration. In terms of a 60-minute chart, we're really again in no man's land. We've had a short squeeze from that 7230 zone. Okay. Uh, in terms of the FTSE, now can we continue? That's the question. Okay, that is the question. With Asian markets lower overnight, it's certainly very hard to uh, perceive that. We've got key resistance here now at the moment at 7290. We're failing to to break above that. Okay. 
uh, let's see how the index plays out okay especially given the fact that US indices are, are into uh, immense pressure at present okay so bear that in mind as well okay so I think that's basically a summation really of European indices really um, a feeble bounce if that and whether that can be continued that's a question especially with US equities so weak given the additional tariffs and trade war concerns are ongoing especially given the emerging market chaos as well although Italy certainly is a positive picture and UK GDP numbers have come in slightly better than expected so take that on into consideration as well okay so I think that's a good summation really of European indices please be sure to visit trade signal uh, tra signals and trade alerts market update should I say from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Goodbye.